Hello guys, so today I'm responding to a comment in one of my probability video. You blindly guess the last five multiple choice problems. So these are multiple choice problems where you have five choices, A, B, C, D, E. And what is the probability that you will answer exactly three questions correctly? First of all, just explain the question. So basically, you're going to answer five questions. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, five. And you are going to kind of put down your guesses. Maybe, maybe it's something like this. I'm just making it up. So you might get some question correct and maybe some incorrect. And we are interested in the probability that you get three of them correct. The probability of getting one question correct, if you guess randomly, that would be one over five. And the probability of getting that wrong would be just one minus that. So let's apply the binomial distribution formula directly. So I'm going to write down the formula. P of k equal to n choose k times p of k 1 minus p to the n minus k. Basically n is 5 in this example and k will be equal to 3. So in this particular example p of k equal to 3 would be 5 choose 3 times 1 over 5 cube and 4 over 5 so 5 minus 3 so that would be square and uh, which I plug it into the calculator you should get something about 5% why does it work this way so let's go through the logic, right? So if you look at this, so how many ways are there to answer five questions and answer three of them correctly? That would, so you could be maybe getting the first question right, second question right, and then the third one wrong, fourth one wrong, maybe the fifth one wrong. Or you could be answering the first question correct, second question correct, third one correct, Maybe the next two will be wrong. So I'm just kind of enumerating all the possibility. So how many how many ways are there? So we are going to choose three out of the five to be the number of correct answer. Alternatively, you can think of it as we are choosing two out of the five to be the incorrect answer. Because in both cases, these two formula evaluate to the same results. And that will be 10. So that means if I write out all the possibility of true and false combinations, where there's three correct and two incorrect answer, there will be a total of 10 ways. So for example, if you look at this first example I drew, this is basically saying I have to answer the first question correct, the second question correct, the third one incorrect, fourth one will be incorrect, the fifth one will be correct. Right. And then similar things go for the second one. First one correct, second one correct, the third one needs to be correct, fourth one will be incorrect, if one will be incorrect. But you observe that they will, they will look like this part of it. And then you can imagine I can keep enumerating all this possibility for the 10 different ways which I, I found above. And so you just multiply 10 and there you go. So let me know if you have any questions.